Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today this design is going to be a very cool way to make a maple leaf. Yes, like the Canadian leaf representing the flag, I think, right? Of Canada. So that is the idea, the main idea, but also it's fall. So it can be a fall leaf, a leaf using for fall. And the cool thing is you can make it red, you can make it yellow, you can make it a lot of different color, orange, and play with burgundy. And, you know, a lot of different colors, you know, in that kind of like um, range. So, uh, I was looking for ideas on Google. Bam! And it seems like it's not hard. It's not really. But um, it was kind of like hard for a moment. So I play what? For me works classic music. For you may work any other type of music. I believe music can help you to focus or make you get into yourself and find them ideas you know so that's kind of the main thing because i recommend you to try that if you never before uh, create a design or make a balloon figurine with this technique i recommend it. it works really good for me what go to google images and check for example what would you like to do a maple leaf or you know something representing fall even if you don't have any idea, you can just fall. And if you want something cute, type cute, Google, you know, whatever you type, then end up with something like clip art. That way straight will, you will see images or just clip images, you know, so then uh, you will see a lot of ideas. So that's kind of like, you see the ideas, but also try to be listening to music. Instrumental music, I think is gonna help where it's not voice. So you don't get too distracted with the lyrics. You just go into the music playing like that. So I hope this worked for you. If it worked for you, let me know in the comments. Um, for me, it's always classic music, piano, instrumental piano, songs. Um, it helps, you know, for me a lot. So this is how this design came. And this was the kind of like first attempt. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And look at this. I like because it's only two balloons yep only two balloons two uh, 160 160 is always much easier for me to manipulate and i like this way but then i was thinking hmm this part it's i would like if it's the same thick as this part and also this part so being here i made this and repeated and connected with this pinch twist it's like a rose the beginning of a rose um this part too so i was thinking well this is kind of the same size as this so what about and this is how it came use one balloon 160 for one part of this maple leaf and then uh one balloon 260 for other parts of this design like for example this part at 260 it will be thick enough as this and it will help the shape a cool technique about this design it's the idea of opening bubbles in between can make these bubbles accommodate. And if it's perfect. Now, this is the awesome part that is two balloons. What I'm gonna choose today, well, this is if you use 160. So then you have to a little bit more twisting, but it's only two balloons. And the same if this is the other design using a one balloon 160 and another balloon 260. You can see the difference here is 160, 160, but in the center, I'm using 260, the covers the same white as a 160. You can leave those loops open because it can represent also the lines of veins of this leaf. Okay, or you can just close it, accommodating the bubbles. Things doesn't have to be perfect, but for me, this is my representation of a maple leaf or uh, what I call, I call the fall leaf, you know? Two balloons and it's fast. You can make it for events in this fall, you know, season or part of a balloon decor for your Thanksgiving centerpieces. So keep it in mind. Let's start it, that's the big long introduction because that's who I am. I love to kind of like explain you the process because that can help you also. It's very repetitive, right? I repeat kind of the same process. For me, it's also a routine, um, but it works for me. So I wonder around the world, it may be someone else <laughs> that this technique, this step works. 
So I'm curious, please let me know in the comments, what is your technique for you to make balloons? Um, I find always kind of like mornings, I have a time and space for me. Later, you know, because right now it's morning, it's early. My kids are in school. That means I have time, you know, a moment for myself to, for me, I choose, I decide, make balloons and then share it with you. But later, you know, when my kids come from school, it's not, I don't have time. It's no time for anything. Only, you know, family time because it's like this, you know, kids go half a day and then, you know, like at around 3 p.m. It's like all about them. So I like that. And that's kind of why it's the bummer. I can know. Uh, participate in you know like these zoom meetings that i love i wish but then at the same time it's like this is the moment that i can spend with my family you know uh, so you know always put your balance give priorities um and this is the moment for me the way i can share with my balloon community making videos okay okay <laughs> i know i can be talking and talking look we are gonna be talking and meeting each other in person and where where balloon conventions what where is the next balloon convention i'm going and i have it there already in my calendar and i'm already kind of mentalizing preparing it's going to be july 16 2023 that for me it's the moment i'm waiting for my balloon convention to meet people that love balloons the same as me and we're going to meet each other and we're going to start twisting and enjoy each day for uh nights uh what is the whole balloon convention uh it's a very awesome balloon convention is bling bling jam las vegas bling bling jam we're in las vegas so it's right in that uh, fremont avenue uh, boulevard thing it's right there you can walk and find also other places so later after jamming we can go and dance because i love that <laughs> okay so man i'm sorry again taking too long cecilia I wish, you know, because that's kind of the thing. Make videos straight into the story. That's what people want to see. I know, right? But I, I, you know, them is not going to be kind of like so entertainment for me. You know, I want to also, get, you see, balance. For me, it, this is a moment to also entertain myself. Sharing, expressing. But I promise now, it's a tutorial. Pay attention. Because the, this is the only thing. It's a very fast design. Look, what I have here. It's gonna be because we're I already make it in orange. I already make it in in red. You can make it in green too. So this time I'm making it in yellow. So a balloon to sixty inflated, leaving like eight finger tail between eight to nine finger tail, and then a balloon one sixty, leaving approximately four to five finger tail. Okay. Let's do this. I decided to start with the bigger one. So you're gonna measure six finger bubble, twist, do, 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 and then one finger bubble, pinch twist, another one finger bubble, pinch twist, and another one finger bubble, pinch twist. What I'm doing here, it's three pinch twists, two, do, 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 and then squish and make another six finger bubble, twist it together, pop, 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 lock, tune. Then you're gonna measure four finger bubble, no more because you want the balloon to you have enough if you follow this kind of like um sequence. This is the cool part about this design, it's only two balloons, but follow the measurements as close as you can. So four finger bubble, no more, three is okay, but four, why not? One finger bubble pinch twist, another one finger bubble pinch twist, and another one finger bubble pinch twist. It's repeat it, repeat, repeat, and then you twist this with another four finger bubble. Twist, and let's repeat this little part one more time. What was that? This. Okay, so this one actually is going to end up this way. Okay, so now again, four finger bubble, and then one finger bubble, pinch twist, another one finger bubble, pinch twist, and one finger bubble, pinch twist. Now, this is kind of like you may say, you, it's not mathematics. It's going to be using the entire balloon to 60 exactly, you know, exactly on time. Uh, the, the measurement is amazing. So, four finger bubble, four finger bubble, end up with the bubble. And that bubble is going to be right in the center in a moment. So you just put it in the center there, twist, and you will have all that. Um, so you have something like this. Let me put things in proper position. 
So the pink twist, you're gonna keep it this way. Look, this way. I'm gonna show you how is everything looking. This simple thing can be for many things. So remember, when you make something, look at that. Look in the front, put it upside down. Imagine, oh, the beginning of a sword. Oh, it can be any, many things. So play with that, okay? Um, what, what else from here? Now let's use the second balloon. That it's gonna be a 160 yellow. You can mix colors, why not? You can do anything you want. And it ha doesn't have to be yellow, remember, it can be any color. So five from finger tail approximately. Now you just attach it right here in the middle. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum. And let's go with uh, the sides here. You see? And uh, let's measure approximately six finger double and twist. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum. Six to or five, okay? Between six to five finger long. And then make finger bubble pinch twist you can make a two finger bubble pinch twist if you want uh it's gonna be okay so then the pinch twist kind of are the same size as this one things doesn't have to be exactly the same it's okay so now go with another bubble closer to the same size as this one and close it up and then you just appear to the other side Pew. And then measure approximately six finger bubble to five. Twist, twist, twist. Make two finger bubble pinch twist, finger bubble pinch twist, or two, or what do you prefer? And then go down with the same amount of air like this one that we just did. And twist, dum, 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 and twist. And if you have the bubble left over here in the center, so here you're gonna also make another bubble pinch twist this time. So squish, make like a because it's a one six. I recommend to make like a two finger bubble or three here and make it a pinch twist. You can make it this way, like a little loop, a squish. This is the bubble. The little one squish and pass it around. Now make your one sixty approximately uh, six finger tail. It's gonna be better. To when you inflate a six or seven finger tail, it's gonna be better, easier, okay? So then you don't end up with something too tight because at the end, this you just don't need it to be that long, it has to be short, right? So it doesn't have to be that long, but having all that, then you can cut it, and then this can be part of a headband or a way to attach it to another place, leaving here, like you know, not that long. Um, okay, so you have this. This, the trick for this design, and this is the cool part, when you find a trick, when you find a way that, that twist, that ba -ba -da -ba -ba, and it looks awesome, I like that, you know, like, touch for when I'm making a balloon. So this is the moment, <laughs> what do you call the kids sometimes say, oh, it's satisfaction, right? If it's satisfied. When I do see balloons, the kids is like, oh, it feels satisfied. Like, they see this word that is something about, I think, in TikTok, you know, there are videos that they only you see it to feel satisfied. Anyway, so this is the moment. <laughs> you just grab this part and do it this way. In order to stay, that's when you open that 260 bubbles, open it, and introduce the 160 a little bit. Okay, the same with this side. Make sure you pinch twist, that's in the end twist, so. And open it and introduce a little bit. A little bit, okay? And the same the other side. Look how beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. What is the song? <laughs> beautiful. Doo -doo. Now accommodate the pinch twist all this way. The, okay? The way. So there we go. Almost there. Love it. And this is the idea. This part, let's cut it approximately four or five finger long, or you can always lose the end until you find a four or five finger, four or six finger long between, something like that, and tie it. Look how cool way to make a maple leaf. You know what? It seems simple and very original too. I usually complicate myself, and I think this time I make it even more simple. <laughs> which is good. I like it. 
I love it. It's the my maple leaf and I'm okay with that. I like it. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, you can always place with only 160s and you will be doing something like that. So instead of this part to be white, only using a 260, you can make a, with a two, 160 wider, making two bubbles in both sides. And pinch twist in the front. And this is the idea. I think it's a really cool design. I'm very happy. It's like, yeah, I'm easy. I talk more than what it is really to take you to make this design. You can make a bunch and decorate something. Look how cool like the palette, you know, full colors can look if you make, you know, more. And it can be decorated in one place and you can add some lime green. Why not? Have fun. Enjoy the season. Enjoy, you know, it's also, again, it's easy for me, you know, to go also with the season. Now it's fall. And I'm going with four. Getting closer to Christmas, so it's going to be Christmas designs coming on. And maybe somewhere, some things that I have to do because I have a birthday party and a specific theme, it's okay. So that's how I do it. That's why I don't really take requests. I don't take requests. But if you want to help maybe bring in some ideas, why not? Go to Google. Google Images. Find something cute that you would like to see out of balloons. Find the images that you see when you find something cute, something cool. Images that you can see. Wait, I can see this maybe out of balloon, but it's like, oh, I don't know how. Maybe Cecilia will know. Share it to me. Share the images. Don't tell me to look for the images. Share the images with me on my Instagram. If you haven't followed me yet, go to my Instagram. Follow me as Alpaca Global Balloons. Or send me a message uh, to my email. That is alpacaglobo at gmail.com. So send me the picture, that way I can see, oh, yeah, I can see it too. Let's try, and we can have a project together. Okay, so that's kind of uh, something that it will be fun to do. Um, that's it. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and on the description of all my videos, you will find lots. Because it's not only one idea how to collaborate with this channel. There is many different ideas. My address is in there. You can always send balloons, send anything that you think it will be awesome to have in this youtube channel also i have an amazon wish list go to the description of all my videos you will find my amazon wish list a link click the link and then you will see a lot of ideas that you can find on amazon for balloon twisters but um if you can buy anything from there it will be very well appreciated like i'm in the need right now for example for an arch and doesn't have to be a super expensive arch there are arches different you know uh, cost it's just I need to have four arches for a balloon decor and I don't have really those arches, but I will have to do it. So if you can collaborate, for example, buying those things for me, very well appreciated. You don't have to buy all the four, of course, no. But, you know, balloon inflators, because we always run out of the balloon inflators too. They burn. They're, they're cheap. That's why they don't last forever. But I'm okay, you know, like I can use it. And you can also collaborate with this channel buying those things because... Um, whatever you help me on my business is also helping the channel because it gives me, you know, this motivation to keep sharing with all of you. Also, I have a Venmo account. I have a PayPal account. You can donate one dollar, two, three. Anything is very well appreciated. If you're already starting to be a balloon twister, you know, we love tips. I'm a balloon twister. I love tips. Tips are always very well appreciated. So you can always donate to this channel sending, you know, money to my Venmo or PayPal account. One other idea. Well, you can always subscribe. 60% of people watching my videos is not subscribed yet. Can you believe it? And the thing is, okay, I understand you just are looking for a design. This moment, it happened, you were watching the channel. But if you're really watching one or two of these videos that I have hundreds of in this channel about all balloon, balloon art, balloon decoration, balloon twisting, you can um, subscribe, you know, subscribe. It's like a library there for you always to enjoy different themes, balloon tutorials for any occasion. So, and subscribing to the channel is gonna help. It is free for you and it will help me, yes, to be more visible, more, um, you know, like, uh, what is the word? It's gonna be more, more public to people around the world so then I will have more views and that helps too. Yes, okay, so what else? Like. Yes, your likes. And that's it. Have a wonderful day. And see you in the next video. If you made this maple leaf, tag me. 
look, you don't have to mention me. It's okay. But if you tag me on the comments of the pictures that you made, then I will be able to see it. And at the end of my videos, I would love to share, you know, your picture with your name there, say. And so people can feel also motivated that this is not impossible. It's all about patient time, have fun, watch the videos probably over and over in case you think I went too fast. But I think this is a cool design I think everybody's going to be able to make. Okie dokie. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.